Good morning everybody, it is... It's Friday today. By the way, in my last video I said, hey, it's Wednesday today, and loads of people were saying, no, it's Thursday, but it was filmed on Wednesday. Just like this is filmed on a Friday. It's Friday for me when I'm filming this. Um, today is a really, really busy day, so this intro is gonna be pretty quick, and then I don't know how much I'm filming for the rest of the day, because I'm filming today in my office. I think all day I will catch up with you when I can, um, but I'm practically just gonna be sitting filming all day, so I'll see what I can do vlog-wise. Okay, I am in the office. I am currently filming. I have just filmed um, another assumptions video, another quick fire 10 minute assumption video with Nick because lots of you said that some of your assumptions weren't answered and lots of you said that you really, really enjoyed it. So I was just like, do you know what? Let's do another one. So that will hopefully actually go up today. Um, one second, oh, my arm aches. How cute does my little background look? I am proud of this. I also really like my bottle sitting there. That's a great bottle, by the way. I'm slowly bringing Nick round to actually wanting one. He has a, I think his is a 500 ml bottle. And when I got that, he laughed at me and I was like, you're gonna end up wanting one. I think you might get one. <laughs> anyway, I have just finished filming that video. So I am gonna, possibly just keep filming. Um, I think today I'm filming a weird Shein haul because I went on the Shein website and there is so much randomness on there that I didn't even know existed. So I'm really, really excited for that. And then I possibly might try and film another Amazon video, but I'm not too sure about it. We will see. But yeah, this vlog clip I'm sure is uh, pretty boring by now. So I'm just gonna end this. I don't know when I'm gonna pick the vlog camera up again. Maybe let's make banana muffins later. So I think I'll catch up with you for that. And yeah, okay, I've got filming to do. I'll see you in a bit. Absolutely hours later, I have just finished filming and the floor is just a mess. I tested so many products and just put them on the floor. There is just a pile of junk in front of me. This is just half of it. In fact, that's not even half of it. There's some in front of me, there's a box, there's some to my right, there's just things everywhere, um, but Filming is done, so I'm now gonna go ahead and import my assumptions that I filmed earlier and try and get that uploaded before five, six o'clock. I'm gonna try and take this lip stain stuff off that I tested in the video, and then I think I might see if we have enough ingredients to make some banana bread muffins because I really, really fancy some, and yeah, I need to get editing, so I'm gonna have to catch up with you in a bit. It is 10 to five, I have finished editing my vlog channel video for today. It is uploading, it should be up in uh, three minutes. Nick has come into the room and is just oh, is playing. Yeah. yeah, it's not very good. It's too weak. Yeah. <laughs> Nick is Nick has come into the room and is just playing with all of the items from today's video. Got a little bit of a muscle swinge. <laughs> Grab that. That's for the eye mask. Yeah. Where's that? <laughs> just messing. He's just <laughs> messing. It's like Christmas. <laughs> He's just messing around having a great time with all of the products that I've bought. I shouldn't really show you actually what we're playing with because it would just ruin my video on my main channel. I feel like this is vibrating, but this isn't. Does that not tickle your nose? No. You feel me? Yeah. Anyway, um... So it's just a whipping stick. No, no, Nick! <laughs> Nicholas, that is not a whipping stick at all. Stop touching stuff now. Put it down, Nick! Which means a bit naughty, it's a pore cleanser. Mm -hmm. That'll be in a vlog soon, by the way. I like this, it's like a little magic yeah, yeah, wand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, anyway. Uh, it is coming up to five o'clock and a little bit later I think Nick and I are actually going to try and do our weekly shop which I do not like doing at the moment. I've never even liked weekly shopping in general because I'm someone who likes to decide on kind of the evening or the evening before what I want to eat. Trying to decide what I want to eat a week in advance is almost impossible. But now with everything going on it's just even more stressful and I really really don't enjoy it. Um, but we do need to go and get our weekly shop so I don't think I'm going to film that because it's like masks on and keep to yourself and all of that kind of thing. Did I say you could open that? No. <laughs> can I? Well, you've done it now. What do you mean, can you? It's done. I thought you'd use it. Yeah, but I didn't say you could use it. I'm using it. <laughs> and Nick, if you snap those. It means I'll be super, I'm super strong. <laughs> no, it doesn't mean you're super strong. It means you're doing it too high. And then this evening, I think I might put these curlers in my hair to see how well they go because I have wanted to test these for a very, very long time and they came in my Shein order. So let's test out these curlers and see what my hair does. 
I genuinely feel like I haven't really been downstairs at all today. Um, I've basically just been sat in my office filming all day. But I'm gonna make myself a bagel and we're gonna unbox some new coffees. So these are the new coffees that we've got. They're from a company called Rave. Not promoted. <laughs> yeah, not sponsored by Rave, but Lana was on the phone to me about uh, her coffee machine and the coffee, was it on the phone or was text? I think she, I think maybe maybe, out, maybe it was on WhatsApp, but we were talking about coffee. Hi Lana, by the way, if you are watching this. Uh, we were talking about coffee and she was talking that, she said that she just ordered some coffee from a company called Rave and that it was really good. So Nick was instantly onto the website looking at this coffee um, and he got the, was it original or what was it Sign called? Signature blend. Signature. He, he got the signature coffee beans. Which is never gone, by the way. Oh my gosh. Do you like Nick's pickle jar of coffee <laughs> to keep him fresh? Um, yeah, he's almost gone through them. That's insane. But we're just about to unbox the other one, which I chose, which was hazelnut and what now? So I'm really, really excited to smell it. So this is the mocha java blend. So the taste is chocolate earthy and hazelnut, which is very exciting. It is a dark roast and it's a whole bean, 250 grams. So we're going to try that. And then the other one we got is... This is a that's the big chocolate. Chat, it just tastes like chat, chocolate. Chatswood. Chatswood blend, yeah. Chatswood, and it Chatty. tastes like tastes like chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Um, so we got those two, and I love these little things that come on there because if I just pull this off, if I can, the bless you, <laughs> bless you. These little um, slips that come with them tell you what it is, but they also give you the option to write down what you think it tastes like for future reference for yourself. I think that's a great idea. So, can we open? Which one do you want to try? I want to try this hazelnut one. Smell, let me smell, let me smell. It smells like coffee. It smells like coffee, <laughs> it smells like good, it smells like good coffee, but I'm not getting the hazelnut that I was hoping for. We have run out of milk, so we will wait till we get home, and I can try hazelnut coffee with some banana bread muffins that I have been talking about all day. I'm so excited for some banana bread muffins. It's Lana's fault, I spent 20 quid in <laughs> This is an interesting little way of vlogging. Hello, just me. Um, we are going shopping in a little bit. Nick is just writing down a shopping list. I've left him in charge this week of recipes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We'll see how the shopping list goes. Um, and then when we get back, banana bread muffins. Just sitting and hearting and replying to some of your comments. I love you guys. Tara says, my habits are going great. You are motivating me so much. You're motivating me too. Thank you so much for watching and following along and for joining in. I'm so proud of you and you get a little heart. Update on the water bottle. A lot of you asked one where it's from. It's from Amazon. I did leave a link, but I think my links only work for UK people because I use UK Amazon um, and it is an affiliate link, uh, which if you don't know, basically means if you use it, you pay just as much as you would regardless, but I get like a teeny teeny smidgen, like a few pennies of commission if you do use my link. But because it is an affiliate link to a UK site, I don't know if you're not in the UK if you can use it, but if you're not in the UK, you wouldn't want to use UK Amazon anyway. So you just have to search this yourself on your version of Amazon. I don't know what that is, but your version of Amazon. Yeah, I got it on Amazon and I drank all of my water yesterday, all two liters, and I did it by, I'm pretty sure five o'clock. Like, I just went through it. And then today, it is already half past five. I've barely done anything today. I've just been sat and filming and haven't really drunk, but I'm still already halfway through and I've been busy all day. So the water bottle is clearly working. I also actually really enjoy the handle of it, as does Nick. I really think soon he's gonna get himself one, but we'll see. I really think he might. And I've taken out the straw just because I find with straws, I always, feel like I'm not cleaning them properly and I'd just rather not have it so that I'm not worried about not cleaning it. I'd rather just drink straight out of the bottle and then when I clean my bottle I know that I've cleaned that nozzle and it's nice and fresh. I almost completely forgot that I even wanted to put this in this vlog but please let me know in the comments how you feel about YouTube lives because I'm struggling a little bit with my schedule. I feel like all I'm doing at the moment is editing. I feel like I'm spending all my time in this room and I just, I feel like I haven't had a day off for a whole week. I've basically woken up, vlogged or filmed, edited, uploaded, woken up, vlogged or filmed, edited, uploaded. Like, I just don't feel like I've had a break for a week, which isn't too bad, but considering I wanna keep this going, I don't think that schedule's working for me. I just think I'm gonna, what's the word? I feel like I'm gonna have a burnout 
if I keep doing that. So I was thinking, I'm trying to work on my schedule. How would you feel about on one of the days per week, not having an upload, but instead having a YouTube live um, on YouTube? And I'm thinking maybe Sundays at 6 p.m. So please let me know, that'll be 6 p.m. Uh, British Standard Time. British Greenwich Medium Time? What the heck, my brain has just gone. Why did I say British Standard Time? Is that even a thing? I don't know. Or oh, British Summer Time? I don't know. <laughs> Google UK 6 p.m. and what that is in your country and let me know if Sunday at 6 p.m. works for you. And depending on how many people it works for, I might change so that one of my uploads each week is a live instead of a video. We'll see, I'm thinking about it, I'm just considering it. Just let me know how you feel about me doing a live because um, then I can answer all of your questions, I can talk to you about things, I can update you um, and you can ask me things live about what's going on and yeah. Hello, missed you while we were shopping. Um, shopping is done, all finished, good. Everything is wiped down, put away. I feel like I can relax for the rest of the week now. Nick's just made a coffee um, for himself. Didn't ask if I wanted one, this? did you? Shut up. Can you help me, Nick? What's that? Yeah, I've never used your machine before. I'll get my glass from here. Let me get my cup. Hello. These, uh, these cupboards are very reflective. <laughs> Hi. So usually when we make a coffee, we've been sticking to the um, Nespresso milk frother just because it's easy it's an on off kind of thing we know how to use it etc etc but nick is gonna now use the new coffee machine milk setting for the first time place a sufficiently large cup under the coffee and froth milk at just the length of the oh you can pull this down can you it doesn't look like you oh yeah, there you go it's in there now isn't it Boom. you did oh, pull yeah. that down oh oh, oh. yes come off <laughs> <laughs> come off enough okay. gentle nicholas preparation on the way oh, oh we're just doing it Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, you know, I don't know if that's a big one or <laughs> I have no idea what's, what's happening. <gasps> it looks good though. Look yeah. at the top of that. Wait, why won't you focus? Camera focus, what's happening? My... We, could have a, we can have all these. Hang on a minute. Flat white. Why haven't I been doing this? <laughs> I'm having another coffee, but let me finish this. <laughs> Nick, you can't have that much coffee. Not me, Ed. <laughs> oh, my neck just, I wasn't even moving and my neck clicked. Told you. <laughs> it's a strong one. That's oh. not for you, is it? Lana, what are you doing to me? She didn't oh. tell us to get that one. I, oh my goodness. You picked that one. This is the one you picked out of everything. Yeah, well, I don't know what I'm doing, do yeah, I? You don't, do you? I don't know. I'm just going to blame Lana. Yeah, Lana, sure. it's your fault. <laughs> it is absolutely say, your I, fault, Lana. No, I can say it's a nice coffee because I like coffees. Do so you like coffees. it? You just like, uh, you just like milk with a little bit of coffee. I told you, I just like a hot milky drink. <laughs> We're just wasting milk and coffee at this rate. That's I've way drank too strong. A hell of a lot of coffee is trying to figure out this machine. <laughs> You've had this machine for a week and you didn't know you could make no, flat I white. I didn't know. I didn't know. I don't know anything about it. No, clearly. I just bought it because. But you did. You did print out an instruction manual. Yeah, but I didn't look at the milk section at all. What's this? A flat white? Yeah, but it just looks like a cappuccino at the minute. Also, it's going to run out of milk. <laughs> uh, it's not meant to be doing that, Nicholas. Nicholas. <laughs> <laughs> Nick! Nick! Stop! <laughs> Nick! Stop! I don't know what to do! Nick! Turn it off! Nick! I didn't know what to do! I need to put more milk in, I think. <laughs> you think? That's not a flat white video. That's not a flat white, is it? Maybe we just don't know what a flat white is. Stressful. That was really stressful. <laughs> where's the, where's the Wait, staring machine? I keep touching this and I don't know what I'm doing. The stirring machine, the spoon. Yeah. Let's see what Nick thinks of it. <laughs> Here we go. This is the website. It's Sally's Baking Addiction. This is Nick's phone because I don't want to waste my uh, precious screen time. So it's called Sally's Baking Addiction. Um, it makes 10 to 12 cupcakes, uh, muffins. It makes 10 to 12 muffins. So I'm just gonna half everything and then mix it all together, pretty much. So we want 95 grams of flour. 73, 70. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. This is why you don't bake with one hand. Let's get some of this out. I've been waiting all day to film myself making banana 
muffins and I've realised it's not that easy to film. I'm just kind of putting stuff into a bowl and the mix is going to mix it. So there's not really much for me to show you. It only just came to me to just maybe set up the tripod. Also, this lighting here, not the most flattering. We've got flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt, cinnamon, nutmeg, bananas, butter, which is currently melting because this actually calls for melted butter, not, what's it called normally? Not room temperature butter, which is interesting. Um, and then brown sugar, an egg, vanilla extract, milk and then optional chocolate chips. We do have a little chocolate that I could chop up, so maybe that, and preheat the oven to, it says 218 degrees Celsius, but we have a fan oven, so I'm gonna put it at 200. Are they too big? Potentially. I don't know how or why, but I seem to have a lot of different muffin cases or cupcake cases. Is that, that's too small for a muffin. I might just have to, Oh, what about these ones? No. It's okay, thanks. I think these ones do. Okay, go on. We're gonna get a, a virtual reality headset. No, we're not. No, we're definitely getting that. Why? Because I've just seen the stuff you can get, and it's on auction, barely used, half the price. We're getting one. My laptop works with it. We're getting it. You You're not chipping it. I'm not chipping it. You would love it. Sugar. We don't have brown sugar. I don't think. We've got my demerara, but did we pick up another one? I don't think we did, did we? Seven clever substitutes for brown sugar. White sugar plus molasses. A combination of white sugar and This is the only brown sugar we have left, so that's not gonna work. We're gonna use white sugar. Oh goodness, we don't want that much, that much butter. Oh no. We don't want that much butter. We want half that much butter and half that much milk and half that much egg. Oh no. Oh no. Now how do I get the butter out? Oh, I've made big mistakes. I've made huge mistakes. You messed up with butter again. I've messed up. I'm just <clears> gonna <throat> hope that this is mainly butter. 42 grams, let's hope for. I forgot that we wanted half of all the ingredients. So we want half the butter, 42 grams of butter, half an egg, butter's in there. Then we're gonna crack an egg. That is a lot of sugar. Oh no, I went over. Why am I so bad at this today? I don't know what's going on. little bit of chocolate chips to it. Mm. Delicious. And nutritious. Not really nutritious though. It's got banana in it. Okay. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, don't do that. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Ah! What is happening? Muffins are ready to go in the oven. So they go in for five minutes at a high temperature and then without opening the door, you turn it down. So I'm gonna put these in. I am not a professional baker, nor am I even a decent baker. But today, I just don't know what happened. I messed up at every hurdle. Like, didn't prepare the correct ingredients for a start. Made do with sugar, fine. Um, didn't measure out the ingredients correctly and mixed all of the wet ingredients, but doubled the amounts of everything and had to start over by trying to scoop out my butter. Then, I measured the sugar in the bowl with the wet ingredients and then measured too much. Only as I was pouring it in, I was thinking, I should really measure this separately, shouldn't I? I should really measure it into the same bowl in case I over pour. Over poured, half of the sugar was absorbed by the wet ingredients and I'm trying to get out all of the excess sugar. Then pour it into the muffin pans and shake them so that one of the muffin, like tray, one of the muffin cases slips underneath it, had to lift it out, almost went everywhere. Just, just mistakes were made. Huge mistakes were made, um, but they're in the oven. We can only hope for the best. We can cross our fingers and just pray, just pray that, that people want me to have banana bread as much as I want to have banana bread muffins. I'm back with my glasses on. I made the ridiculous mistake of taking my contacts out without working out first where my glasses were, which you won't even understand if, you, if you're not a glasses wearer, but if you are, it's the worst thing because you can't see. And in order to see, you need to find your glasses. 
but in order, in order to find your glasses you need to be able to see so I took my contacts out and I can see my prescription is um, a negative 2 in my right eye and a negative 1.5 in my left but I also have an astigmatism but I can see but just not very well and these glasses because they're thin rimmed and like muted tones if I leave them places like this Okay, you can see them there, but on beds and such, you just can't find them, especially when you can't see properly. So I was just struggling a little bit to find my glasses, found them. I think there's there's one minute left on the timer, so I'm just going to stand here really, and wait for the timer to go off. 16 seconds remaining. Oh my goodness, they smell incredible. Nicholas, do you want a muffin? Look at my muffins. The edible muffins. This is our dinner. Jesus. Look, we've got all of the nutrition we need. We've got carbs in the flour, and we've got banana as our fruit slash vegetables, and chocolate is a lovely cocoa bean, and... You sold me. Sugar. Get it. Oh my gosh, Nick, there's melted chocolate in there. Mmm. -hmm. The chocolate just adds something new. Look at the squidginess and look at that yummy melted chocolate. Oh my goodness. Try it out. I'm shaking. I know. I'm hungry. We should mm. actually make some real food. Mm. It's quite nice that. Oh. I didn't realise how hungry I was. I've been really naughty today. I've been so, so naughty today. I don't know if I've said this online before, but when I work or when I'm filming for hours, I forget everything. I just put everything to one side. In fact, in my assumptions video, um, Nick said that you're a hard worker, and I said, I am when I start work. So this morning I started work, and I was just filming non-stop, and I didn't eat my lunch, and then when I finished filming, I was editing, then I uploaded um, and was talking to you in the comments, then as soon as that finished, we basically jumped in the car and went shopping, got home, wiped all the shopping down and put the shopping away, then I started cooking. I haven't stopped all day. Which means I've just forgotten to eat. This is almost all I've eaten today. That is not good at all. Do not follow in my footsteps. Although, this is delicious. Mm. The chocolate was a great addition. It was, wasn't it? You got chocolate all over your mouth. You're so cute. Not that. Thank you. Mm. Because we forgot to eat and I forgot to cook, we're gonna have a freezer dinner. <laughs> yeah. So basically, we've rummaged in the freezer um, and we found some crispy bird's eye chicken and we're gonna match this with some hash browns. Really, really healthy stuff, this is. This is terrible, this is embarrassing. I've got meat covered in carbs, followed by carbs. And then this. <laughs> and a victorious sponge we made earlier. I don't know, this is terrible. Yeah. But I'm so happy about it. It's carbs on carbs on carbs. This is, look, carbs, carbs, carbs. No, that's chicken. That's probably <laughs> It's carbs. chicken covered in carbs. We have some frozen peas. This is a true freezer meal. Does anybody else like frozen peas? Just as frozen peas, not cooked. Because they are delicious. These are petit pois. They're not garden peas, they're petit pois. And they're delicious. And they're actually delicious frozen. I'm sure someone's gonna comment telling me that I shouldn't be eating them frozen, but they're absolutely delicious. And I'm sure peas don't need to be cooked. Mm. And whether they do need to be cooked or not, this is the healthiest thing that I'm eating today. Okay, I did not realise the time. Nick and I were watching um, our Race Across the World show, and I was genuinely thinking it was like half eight, nine-ish. I don't know why it couldn't possibly be that time, but I genuinely thought it's about half eight, nine. So I said to Nick, oh Nick, what time is it? Uh, almost 11 o'clock. So I am gonna go ahead and jump in the shower. I'm gonna get out, dry my hair, get completely ready for bed, and then I'm gonna set you up on a time lapse to try and curl my hair using the um, curl formers that I got in my Shein video. One second, I will show you. And also, I will change your battery because you are about to die. Okay, so these are the curl formers that I got from the Shein website. They will be in this week's um, main channel video, so if you're watching, these are them. I'm gonna put them to use. So I think, I've never used these before, but I think that one curls one way and one curls the other. That's what it looks like to me. So I'm thinking that I want my hair to curl this way on this side and this on this side. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna go for pink over here. No, wait, that's going the wrong way. No, this way. Oh my gosh, I'm confused. 
I want it to curl away from my face. Yeah, orange, orange on this side, pink on this side, I think. Or does it not matter? They definitely both curl different ways. So orange on this side, pink on this side. I've never done this before. Um, and I couldn't do it in the video today because I couldn't, um, my hair was in a bun. You get this random long stick and you shove it through here. This is madness. And then we're gonna grab a section of my hair. I'm gonna do this section here. I've never done this before, so don't expect miracles. Um, and you put your hair into this. Oh goodness, I'm gonna need a mirror of sorts. And then we're just gonna pull this through. Ow, I feel like I just, oh! Oh. Turns out my hair may be too long. <laughs> oh no, maybe if I just pull this down a little bit. Oh no. My hair is too long. No, they're one size. Um, hmm. I don't know what to do. Should we just try it? Should we just see? And can I sleep in them or is that going to be uncomfortable? And then once it's curled and the hair is dry, you just pull it out. It feels like it's ripping a lot of hair out. I think I could sleep in them maybe. We're going to give it a go. I'm going to have a shower. I'm going to sort everything out. And I'm going to try and put these on my hair. And we're just going to go for it. We can only try and see what happens. Have you chosen your route yet? So don't say anything at all. <laughs> Have you chosen the route yet? No. We're getting there. Um, I don't see this working too well. And I've also had to use two here, but... Ben, not come over my side of the bed. I think I'm going to wake up in pain. Like, I think I'm going to wake up in the middle of the night in pain where one of them's tugging me and then I'm going to have a fit and just pull them all out. I'll probably wake you up in the process, Nick. No. Okay, I do not know what time it is, but I cannot sleep with these in. Um, but I just took the end of this one out and it's already curly, so I think I'm just gonna take these out now. <laughs> I just can't go on anymore, I just want to go to sleep, and this is just not comfortable, and it kind of hurts. See what's happened. Um, and I don't know how you take this out, actually. <laughs> it hurts. Oh, that's not too bad. They are pretty curly. <gasps> Do you know what? That is not bad at all, is it? Look at this curl. That's like a perfect bouncy little curl. Okay, they definitely worked. My hair is definitely curly. I definitely think I need longer ones because some of my hair was out of the end. As you can see, the ends are not quite curled, but it worked and it worked pretty fast as well because I've not had them in there for that long and my hair's curly so they work but there's no way I can sleep in those so I've taken them out. I'm gonna go to bed now. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm so sorry I didn't leave them in overnight but I hope you did enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up for me if you did and I will see you guys tomorrow. Love you. Goodbye.